Lomachenko has to fight as many fights as possible, extremely quick, because he's very, very old. Lomachenko will be 40 before you know it. There's no rush tank. Vasil Lomachenko has a hit list for 2023. He wants to fight Devin Haney for all of the marbles. And then after Devin Haney, he wants Javante Tank Davis to stop ducking him. Before we get into this next video, make sure that y'all hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed to the channel. So Vasil Lomachenko is back and he not holding his tongue at all. He got a hit list for 2023 and first he wants to fight Devin Haney and then he says he wants to fight Javante Tank Davis and he's begging Tank Davis to stop ducking him. Now, we know we haven't seen Vasil Lomachenko in the ring in a while because he was over there in the Ukraine fighting in the war. Vasil Lomachenko, now he's back. He's training again. He has a fight coming up at the end of October. He's going to be fighting Jermaine Ortiz. And then after that, we're going to be looking to see Vasil Lomachenko and Devin Haney for all of the marbles. We might have a little problem because Devin Haney tune is changing a little bit. Devin Haney is saying that he got to go and ask his pops, you know, about should he stay at 135? Can he make way or should he just move up to 140? So I don't know if that fight gonna happen for sure, but I see that fight happening because up to this point, I've never seen Devin Haney duck nobody. Devin Haney has wanted all the smoke. So I'm looking for Devin Haney to keep that same energy, right? With Vasil Lomachenko and Devin Haney has been calling out Vasil Lomachenko for a long time. Now, with this Tank Davis situation, Tank Davis and Vasil Lomachenko, they go way back. Tank Davis, right, in TMT Promotions, Floyd Mayweather, they was ducking Vasil Lomachenko for a long, long time. Now, recently, Javante Tank Davis, his tune has changed a little bit when Vasil Lomachenko's name is brought up. He's saying now that he'll fight Vasil Lomachenko, but it's a problem. Tank Davis is still over there in a the protection program. You feel me? So I don't know how the fight is going to happen. It's possible for it to happen if they let Tank Davis fight Vasil Lomachenko. And if Tank Davis really is willing to fight Vasil Lomachenko, I think that's a winnable fight for Tank Davis. I think it's a tough fight. Vasil Lomachenko fight anybody is a tough fight. But Tank Davis can win that fight and he might get stopped Vasil Lomachenko. Now, for those who will say that Javante Tank Davis never ducked Vasil Lomachenko. Well, let's listen to some audio footage. Like I said before, we're not gonna call no particular fighter out. And it's not like we ducking or dodging anyone. Lomachenko has to fight as many fights as possible, extremely quick, because he's very, very old. Tank is probably 10 years or 11 years younger than Lomachenko. Lomachenko will be 40 before you know it. There's no rush, Tank. Your job is to continue to go out there and do what you're doing. You making, he's making, you making the same money Lomachenko is, is making. Right there, y'all. That's Exhibit A of Javante Davis and his team ducking Vasil Lomachenko. Like I said, this shit go way back. This didn't just start a couple years ago. It goes way back. That's an example right there. Plainly, Floyd Mayweather telling Javante Tank Davis in the whole world that they're going to age Vasil Lomachenko out. That Vasil Lomachenko, before you know it, he'll be 40 years old. You don't even got to worry about fighting him right now. Now, at that point in time, they were both champions in the same weight division. You know what I'm saying? It could have been a unification bout. Both champions in the same weight division. And there you have Floyd Mayweather telling Javante Tank Davis, you don't need to worry about him. He going to be old real soon. You know what I'm saying? You can go fight him later on down the line because then he's going to be old. That's a prime example of Floyd Mayweather telling Javante Tank Davis, we're going to age him out. Let's go ahead and go to Exhibit B. Uh, my question to you is, uh, obviously you called out Mikey Garcia after the fight. But earlier in the week, you mentioned Javante Davis and you mentioned how you would fight him for free. Obviously, we know 
you know, you wouldn't actually fight him for free. But what are your thoughts on Javante Davis and a possible matchup? Because many people... Ask Floyd Mayweather. He said the kid isn't ready yet for the fight. Floyd Mayweather is his promoter. Floyd Mayweather, of anybody junior, knows about boxing. The question of whether Javante Davis is ready to fight a master like Loma should be put to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Let him answer that question. But Don't ask stupid stuff about Javante Davis when his promoter says he's not ready. But you know, I think Javante Davis, he's best of the best uh, fighter in the Twitter. So right there, you hear the Bob father, Bob Aram, he's frustrated. And at this point, he's getting pissed off because he knows that Floyd Mayweather, right, is telling everybody straight out that he don't think that Javante Davis was ready at that point in time to fight Vasil Lomachenko because Vasil Lomachenko hadn't aged out yet. You know what I'm talking about? But we gonna keep going. That ain't it. Oh, yeah. Wait, it gets worse. Javante Tank Davis. And if Javante Tank Davis win that fight, I already spoke to Ty DeBuff from Top Rank. We look forward to Adrian Broner. I mean, we look forward to Javante Tank Davis fighting Lomachenko after this fight. We know Tank fights in April, Lomachenko fights in May. I already spoke to Ty Rank, Ty DeBuff, and we're going to make that fight happen between Lomachenko and Javante Davis. A lot of news tonight. Got your promoter hat on as well. Thank, thank on, you, yeah. Floyd. Always good to be with you. Oh, yeah, I told y'all it was going to get worse. Now, right there, that is Floyd Mayweather, right? Live in the flesh, telling everybody that he was going to call Bob Arum and Todd DeBuff to make the fight that everybody had been won. He was threatening Javante Tank Davis because him and Javante Tank Davis was beefing at that point in time. So he said, you know what? How I'm going to get back at you. I'm going to make the fight that I know behind the scenes that you do not want. I'm going to call Todd DeBuff and Bob Arum, and I'm going to make the fight with Vasil Lomachenko. And you know why I was a threat? Because Javante Tank Davis had told him behind the scenes that he didn't feel like he was ready to face Vasil Lomachenko. So, yeah, Floyd Mayweather, like he always does, he going to get his get back. And that was the way he felt he was going to get his get back is to throw Javante Tank Davis in the ring with Vasil Lomachenko. But it gets worse. Here's Javante Tank Davis's response to that. What was your initial reaction when you heard on Showtime uh, this way. It's that he wants you to fight Lomachenko next without even consulting you? Yeah, you, yeah. When I said when I said I was forced into the first title fight, then there you go. There you go. He talking to another fighter without talking to me and that promotional management. Right there, for those that don't know what Javante Tank Davis was talking about, way back when he had his first title shot against Jose Pedraza, Javante Tank Davis told a story to where he felt that they just threw him into the fight with Pedraza and they tried to set him up because they didn't think that he was ready with Pedraza. But, you know, he came out on the winning end and got the knockout victory against Jose Pedraza. Now, Going to this Vasil Lomachenko situation when Floyd Mayweather threatened to make the fight. He threatened to call Bob Arum and Todd DeBuff to make the fight. And then Javante Tank Davis, he got a chance to give his feelings on that. And what he said, he says, well, I feel that they trying to do the same thing that they was trying to do to me when they threw me in to fight Pedraza, right? Basically, they trying to set me up. They're setting me up. They didn't get me to say, yeah, I want to fight him. And they're just trying to go behind my back and throw me in the ring with Vasil Lomachenko. Now, my thing is, every time we hear Tank Davis discuss, you know, fights or upcoming fights, he always says, look, I don't ask for no opponents. Whoever they bring to me, I'm cool with. Whoever Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby tell me I'm going to fight, I'm cool with it. Now, why all of a sudden this time... When it's a top level opponent, top level competition, a 50-50 type of fight, you wouldn't cool with it. 
Now, they got to run it by you before anything. They got to get your okay. But you the one that said, hey, I don't care who they put me in the ring with. I'm down with everything. But you went down with fighting Vasil Lomachenko because you said that they were setting you up. And see, somebody that really want all the smoke, that wants to fight the top competition, that has all the belief in the world in themselves, is going to say, well, that's what's up. I want to fight Vasil Lomachenko anyway because that's a hell of a fight and I want to show everybody that I'm better than him. I'm glad that Floyd Mayweather is going to make that fight. Matter of fact, I told Floyd Mayweather to make that fight a long time ago, but we ain't hear that from Javante Davis. He felt that they was trying to set him up and sabotage him. He didn't want to get in the ring and fight Vasil Lomachenko at that point in time. He didn't believe in himself. He didn't believe he was ready for the fight. And that fight never happened. And y'all want to know why that fight never happened? Because Floyd Mayweather came to his senses and he talked to Javante Tank Davis and, and Leonard Ellaby and the whole team and they decided that it wasn't the time because Vasil Lomachenko wasn't old enough and Javante Tank Davis did not want to fight Vasil Lomachenko at that point in time. You can hear it in his voice right there. So that's just a little rewind for all of those that might come on here and try to say that Javante Tank Davis never ducked Vasil Lomachenko. Now, like I said earlier, Javante Davis's tune has changed a little bit. He's saying that he's willing and ready to fight Vasil Lomachenko now. I don't believe it because we haven't heard him call out Vasil Lomachenko. The only time he mentions Vasil Lomachenko's name is when somebody asked him about Lomachenko. So Tank, he's still not showing me that he want that smoke. I want to see him pursue Lomachenko because Lomachenko went years and years and years pursuing Tank Davis and Lomachenko was never able to get a fight with Tank because they didn't want the fight. Now, Lomachenko is saying, look, in 2023, the fight must happen. I want Devin Haney and I want Tank Davis. Let's see if Tank Davis and his promotional team finally steps up to the plate and stop ducking Vasil Lomachenko. It's time for you to stop ducking Vasil Lomachenko. And like y'all wanted, he's pretty much around that age now that y'all said. Y'all said, hey, 40 years old, he'll be there quick. Well, he's not 40 yet, but he's older, and a lot of people don't think that he's in his prime anymore. So it's the right time for you right now, Tank. Step up to the plate. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment in the comment section, and y'all already know how I do. Dago talking that boxing again, and I'm gone.